Hello YouTube, it is I, Banded Wendy. How are you? It is Saturday, the 28th of December, 2013. And I am here to do week five and six post-op video. Tummy tuck with muscle repair, breast lift and breast augmentation. And I'm going to combine these two weeks before I get to week seven so I can get back on track. Because uh, I want to make sure I document as much as possible. So back on 11, 11, 11, uh, Beverly Hills, Dr. Timothy Katzen, his info is below. I had five pounds of skin removed, excess skin, um, and a full muscle repair of four inches separated and bought, brought back together, and a breast lift and a breast augmentation, uh, 400 cc Allergan high profile silicone implants. And on week four, I traveled to Ohio, and I caught you up uh, with my week three to week four video recently. And so this is week four to week five, and week five to week six video. Um, what else? A lap band patient had lap band surgery March 23rd, 2009. My highest weight was 269 pounds. When I had lap band surgery, I weighed 244.6, and my goal weight was 145.6. I met my goal weight uh, 68 weeks, so I met my goal weight in July of 2010, and have been at or below my goal uh, since then. So um, long-term, in my mind, <laughs> maintenance, had been to five years post-op, um, the whole thing with the reconstructive plastic surgery. It's totally something I never thought I would do, but the further and further along I get in the, pro the, the recovery process, the harder I realize the recovery process is, number one, and number two, the more benefit I feel from it. Um, particularly my stomach. I um, wasn't really worried about my boobs to begin with. They were pretty nice, just small. Um, and I had 44 triple D boobs at one point in my life, so I've had big boobs. It wasn't like I never had boobs. Um, but I never had a flat stomach. And it is flat and still swollen. Um, so anyway, uh, without any further ado, let's move you over here and kind of jump you into what we have to look at. So I kept my binder on. I Oh, I wanted to grab the other one. Um, hold on. Okay, so I'm back. So during the day, I wear two levels of compression. I wear this thigh to uh, above my breast, or below my breast, I should say, Spanx garment for my second layer stage compression. And then I wear this binder, which is my original binder. My doctor instructed me to wear it like a lampshade so that it is tighter at the top and then looser at the bottom. And that has something to do with the shaping of the body, which I'm very happy with mine. So I follow his instructions. So that's the binder. And then I wear uh, a men's uh, white tank top underneath it, and I do it every day. Um, and then I changed, I normally, for this video, I changed, but I normally wear this, which you've seen me talk about before. It is my, uh, embrace bra which I love it's got the two hooks in the back right and it's got the cushion in the center of the breast and it zips up the front and it's embracebra.com right started out with a 36 C slash D uh, immediate post-op four days post-op and then after two weeks, I got to go back to my regular size, which is a 34 band, and it's a 34 CD. And they have a really nice chart on their website um, so that you can pick what size you're going to need. And they have good customer service, so you can email them or um, contact them if you have any questions. And I know some gals that have got the bra and they love it, right? So this one, I was told I could wear at night, but I don't, actually. I'm pretty much 24-7 in the Embrace bra. Um, and I'll talk about that um, 
soon. <laughs> so anyway, this is me. Um, five pounds of skin removed. I'm still swollen, but I can see my curves coming back in, which is nice. Right? And my incision, as I told you last week, I had a wound over here that opened up, which I think was either from my first shower um, or trying on different really, really tight compression garments and um, or the fact that I'm a slow healer. But um, this has been here week three, week four, week five. So uh, I'm at two week mark and it continues to improve. Um, still take vitamin C, I still take zinc, still eat 100 grams of protein, and try to, I'm working on getting my 101 ounces of water in. Here in Ohio, <laughs> I drink a lot of tea because it's cold um, compared to LA. Mm. And something else I started on week five, I've always taken biotin, but I found a new one at um, GNC. Very happy with it, it dissolves under the tongue. And I think this is helping with my wound. Um, and also I mentioned I put, you know, a gauze pad on the wound. And I use bacitration. And I use tape per my doctor. Um, but my incision line, so I haven't done any scar treatment yet, right? Um, so week four, I traveled from Ohio. Let's give you a chance to see the scars. This is completely healed. But I can't do any scar treatment until everything's completely healed. Um, well, as you can see, still swollen down here. And this is first thing in the morning I wanted to get to you guys before I swell up, but it's still swollen. So, um, week four and five, let's see. Not supposed to carry anything over five pounds. Uh, I traveled from Ohio to here, very challenging. My brother traveled with me. Thankfully, he carried all my stuff, yay. Um, cold weather, I think definitely makes me shrink, which is good for the swelling. Um, it, swelling truly reacts to any type of salt consumption in food. Um, and, um, I'm just in love with my stomach. Like, if nothing else, the muscle repair, I could bounce a quarter off this thing. It's so tight, right? And you see that jiggle? That is just the swelling. So, the reason I put this bra on so you can see my boobs. Now, I've talked about the boobs. Um, previously, this breast had a cyst in it, uh, had four cysts in it, and the biggest cyst was removed. So the whole time we thought this has been very swollen, and um, because of the cyst removal, it was going to take an additional time to heal. Um, and then, and, and this is the one where I've had any discomfort, it's been in this breast. Um, otherwise, the breasts are like no pain whatsoever. And then this breast was my regular normal boob, never had any trouble with no cysts, no nothing, and it seemed to drop a lot faster than this one, but we thought this was uh, the problem boob per se, the one to watch out for, the one that was going to take extra recovery because of the cyst. Anyway, I'm still healing, I'm in recovery, um, it's too early to say what my boobs are doing, they are both independent surgeries. Uh, and they one was slightly wider um, and one hung a little bit lower pre-op but you can see here I'm standing straight up and that's why I put this bra on the the one there's a difference so that kind of irks me a little bit <laughs> so I stay in close contact with my doctor about that and I'll talk more about that on week six right but I just wanted to document it here um, I'm still doing the exercises Five seconds this way, five seconds this way, five seconds this way, five seconds this way. And I've even added some squeezes. Um, and I do those in the shower when my hands are moist. And that happens 15 times at least once a day, right? Um, so then week five, and I don't have a scale here either, um, which is kind of interesting. Um, <laughs> week five through six. I've been home taking care of my mom, so I've done more cooking, more laundry, more cleaning, more organizing. Um, I don't have to do any of that stuff. I choose to do that stuff, and it ends up being stuff I need to do, right? Um, so I'm trying to see how I can get to see you without just showing my body. Uh, let's see. So, um, oh, so I have, duh. Okay, so in the process of all that, um, 
carrying more than five pounds probably from across the street. I got two new wounds week five. So I have a new wound right here. I have a little wound right here. The thing about the wounds again, and they're healing up very quickly. So basically instead of being a typical six week recovery person, I'm more going to be like a nine to 12 week recovery person. Um, we'll see to be determined. Um, the wounds are basically they may affect the size of the scar but I can wear the smallest bikini and the smallest underwear and you can't see my scar so if you're going into plastic surgery concerned about scars and you're making the wrong decision um, we'll see how my scar looks a year from now but I have a feeling that we're going to be very impressed by it even though I have wounds right and the wounds it's just like a scab that came off and their skin. I don't know if you can see what they look like. See, that's a wound. Here's one that's healed up. And here's one. And that's not a surgical error. That is just uh, me. <laughs> um, my swelling continues to drop. Uh, I'm still doing my lemon water. Um, still, like I said, the question mark about the boobs. Uh, I typically take uh, Tylenol, extra drink Tylenol, once, two of them, once or twice a day. When I wake up in the morning, I'm sore. Um, I'm actually sore. I still sleep in a fetal uh, position um, with my legs bent. I don't stretch or bend, um, inspect, uh, particularly until those heal, wounds heal up. Um, but at night, I'm still taking my um, medicine from my doctor. Uh, just I have a very tight, tight stomach stomach and the lap import which you still can't see my lap import yeah it hasn't appeared it's over here somewhere <laughs> but I can't feel it yet there's still so much swelling so I'm just excited to see what all this without swelling is going to be like um so I'm hanging in there I'm doing okay uh let's see you want to see a pretty Ohio morning out there there you go little dog dinner right there bar across the street so I thanks for everyone's kind words and continuing to follow my journey. Uh, I'll come back on Monday and we'll talk about week six to week seven onward. The plastic surgery recovery journey is not anything like your weight loss surgery journey recovery. It's different. Um, it requires a lot more patience of the mind. Uh, we expect some different type of immediate results than we do from weight loss surgery because we've gained and lost weight before so we know how hard it is. But most of us haven't had reconstructive surgery before, so we don't know how hard it is. Um, mental muscle. Mental muscle. Um, fitness. I need to make a whole video about that. I still don't miss it physically, but since I've been here, I'm starting to miss it mentally. So I'll talk about that on week seven. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. Flatlands.